What's good, babes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. Today, we are going to be doing somewhat of a beginner's tutorial. We are, in Maya fashion, going to be doing the full face, but a lot of the focus is going to be on a very simple and easy beginner's eyeshadow tutorial. Now, I did do a beginner's eyeshadow tutorial showing you what brushes you need to use for what places on the eyes and everything, but today, sis, we are going to be using only two shades and we are going to be using only two brushes. I wanted to give you guys a technique of doing your eyeshadow that you can do foolproof whenever, wherever, for whatever occasion and you can choose your colors which will fit the occasion but the technique should go for anything. It is nice, quick, simple, and easy. Before we hop into it, please make sure that you have hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, my loves, let's hop into this tutorial. I'm handling the struggles early today, guys. <laughs> so we don't run into no problems. All right, so today I wanted to hit you guys with another kind of beginner's tutorial, something that's not too difficult, and also with the eyeshadow tutorial that's very basic. We're gonna be using two colors. That's it. First, we are gonna hop into brows. Y'all know we are gonna do the full face today. I got you guys. And today I'm gonna be using a brow pencil. This one is from Sigma. And this is their Fill Plus Blend Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Dark. And it's pretty standard for a brow pencil. One side there's a spoolie and on the other side is the pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with this today. And y'all know I do not do any primer or anything before I go into brows just because, you know, that'll assist in it rubbing off throughout the day, <laughs> putting it over so much moisture. Even when I like moisturize my face, when I do my brows, I might do it a little earlier, let it dry down, or like wipe the brows off a little bit. Just personally, from my own personal experience, I do that <laughs> because I don't want it to like have any more help being wipeable throughout the day. My oil is gonna do that enough. She don't need no help, sis. She's strong as it is. <laughs> and that's expensive. Especially when I'm using a pencil. Cause if you're using a pencil, it'll be real easy for that to just go all over the place and sis ain't got no time. And is it just me or is it easier to fill in your brows with a pencil versus a pomade? Pomade, y'all know I've been calling it promade all this time. <laughs> and the reason that I found out it was not promade, cause obviously I could have just looked at the packaging, duh Maya, but you know, it's fine. A brand had to tell me. <laughs> Cause I put on um, some branded content, I wrote Prame with an R and they were like, Amaya, can you please correct that <laughs> before you post it? <laughs> Oops. Also, you guys have been letting me know I've been calling this a Cubics bow. It is a Cubits, how you say this guy's name? Cupid, it's a Cupids bow. <laughs> Whoops on that one too. I always flip over to the spoolie. Y'all, this is gonna be long already. Look at me blabbing. <laughs> I go over with the spoolie and just to kind of make it softer in the front. I still like the ombre brow. Most people are off of that by now, but I don't care. <laughs> I like what I like. The concealer I'm using today is my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. Very, very, very amazing concealer. Very full coverage. Then I'm going in with my brush that I always use to sculpt my brows, which is the Color Rain Paddle Brush. Nothing new here, sis. All the same old, same old. And when I blend out my concealer into like my face after this point, sometimes I take this and just blend it downwards and then I'll go back and reinforce it with my sponge. Cause even though we're gonna be covering this up, Maya is all about making sure things are nice and blended underneath the blending. <laughs> because we need to make sure that everything is going to be as flawless as possible. No lines of demarcation underneath anything or on the face or noticeable at all, sis. I ain't gonna have you out here looking like, looking like a crazy fool. <laughs> We are gonna pop into this eye look and it's gonna be super duper easy. I'm taking my normal concealer shade, nothing lighter, not a like P. Louise base or anything like that. We're going in with our normal Schmegula regular concealer. A lot of people will use like a brush to blend this out. This is unnecessary. <laughs> I take a sponge and I blend it out. This one in particular is from Thrive Cosmetics and I've raved about this on my channel before and we're ready for some eyeshadow. So I decided to throw it back 
today. I feel like we're constantly getting into these newer palettes, new releases, new launches, da da da, which is all great and good, but we forget about the stuff that we used to love. So I'm gonna dip into the Anastasia Soft Glam palette today. A lot of you probably have this, which is why I used it. Because sis, still a banger of a palette, still, you know, hit pan in some areas, some of my favorite shades. So we're gonna go into this and we're only gonna use two colors today. I wanted to do a really, really basic type of eyeshadow look that you can do either on an everyday basis or you know brunch or going out for the day to run errands and want to look really cute. Um, I feel like it's going to be so <laughs> low on the natural side but also a little bit of glam but very very easy so I said we're only gonna be using two brushes and we are the first one we're gonna be using is just a medium size blending brush and this one is from morphe and then we're going to be using a flat eyeshadow applicator brush and this one is from ColourPop, their e4 brush and you don't want this to be too big let me show you what too big is so this one is gonna be too big for you um this one is longer and it's like a lot bigger so this is going to make eyeshadow go all over the eye and in places where you don't want it to be so we want something a little bit more tailored and smaller for your crease area or for that canvas area this one would be a little bit too small because this one would be perfect for like putting like a deeper shade into the crease and kind of defining versus being able to blend it out here it's a little bit too stiff we're well, gonna have blending problems with that one so the first shade we are gonna go into, which is the first and only shade for the crease, is going to be Rustic. And that is this brown shade here next to the deeper brown shade. And I'm dipping my brush into that shade, and I'm gonna blow it. And first of all, let me make sure all my creases are gone before I start to apply. You definitely wanna make sure you do that because you don't want to set things into the crease because they will be there all day, sis. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to go ahead and pat it into the outer crease area. Now we're gonna take this on this side. We're gonna pat, 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 pat on that side. And then on the inner part, we're also gonna pat, 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 pat. And notice that I do have hooded eyes. They're not super heavy hooded, but they are hooded. When I look forward, you see the physical crease of skin. So it don't matter, sis, whether you have hooded eyes, whether you have more deep set in eyes, you can do this method. We are pretty much creating kind of a halo effect. It's very, very easy. So we're patting the color in. Y'all know I'm a big advocate for patting the color in first to make sure that we have the color. And then from there, without adding any more color to the brush, I'm going to start to buff it out. So I'm going to go around the edges of this and kind of go in circular motions just to make it softer. And this is also where I'm gonna go right on top as well because what we don't want is a lot of shadow like above the crease or it's gonna be right there in the middle. I'm just going around and blending it out without adding my product. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side as well. So now we have the beautiful flush of a crease color, but it's not dark, it's not too heavy or anything like that. So from there, you can either use your finger this <laughs> or you can use this type of brush that I already showed you and I'm gonna dip into, hold up, let me, let me look and see which one I want to dip into first before I tell y'all. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna mix for me, which you don't have to mix, but what I want to go for is how I want it to look. I'm gonna mix into bronze and glistening, these two shades right here. And again, I'm gonna blow and I'm gonna start to sweep it in small, real small, sis. Sweeping motions, I'm gonna sweep it into the middle of the lid. Don't forget to be looking down into the mirror, especially if you have hooded eyes. And we're going kind of like in a triangle in really, really small, small little, little wipes. We're putting it on the lid area. So along the bottom, we're kind of lining the eyelid as far as like going all the way across. Then at the top, we're kind of going a little more narrow. And when you look forward, we are going a little bit above the crease. So if you have hooded eyes, we're going above that crease. So you should see a little bit right here above it. And once you notice that the product is going off of your brush, you can start to kind of dabbing it on the side, turn it on the edge. You gotta know how I do with my at the end of my cut crease, just to start kind of trying to blend it into the deeper shade on the sides. And then to help 
couple blendability, go back into your blending brush without adding more brown or whatever sh shades you use and just go around it to kill the lines and make sure everything is seamless. And I feel like you can always get more pigment by using your fingers. So I'm gonna dip my finger into bronze and just start to pat that like, yup. Do y'all see the difference that just happened with just using your finger over a brush? That brush really diffuses shimmer shades. So if you use your finger and if you're careful, you can just start to pat it. Don't forget to bring it up over that crease just in the middle and just slightly. And this is an optional part, so I'll say this is not <laughs> beginner friendly. Uh, this is for my babies that want to do a little extra, do a little, a little bit more like, like I like to. <laughs> and then again, back into our blending brush. You can add more eyeshadow if you want to on this, but if you do, just keep it like right here. Don't start to like blend everywhere because then <laughs> it's gonna look like a buddy mess. It's just like on the sides if you wanna add more, but you don't have to add more. You honestly can just start to go in with no product on here or the le least product that's on there from you doing it before and just start to kind of diffuse at all. But don't diffuse around here after you diffuse right here because then you're gonna get gold all over your eye and that's not what we want. <laughs> and that is it. Very easy, very simple. Um, hopefully that's beginner friendly enough for you guys. Now, let's just throw it out there. Maya is a little extra. So for my babies who are extra like me, we gonna throw a little bit of glitter on top of this. Just a, just a, just a smidge, just a little bit, you know? It's fine. And I'm not even gonna go in with glitter glitter. I'm gonna go in with my Shimmer Down pigment from NYX. I'm just gonna say it one more time. This is unnecessary. <laughs> but you know, sis. I have a little a glitter primer right here on my hand and I'm just gonna pat it on the middle of the shimmer area. And this is going to help grab our glitter shimmer. And this is what it looks like. I'm running out, but that's her sis. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the shimmer pigment and this is what it looks like. I have a little bit in the lid and I'm just going to tap over this just for a little more glimmery look. Glimmery, is that a word? Y'all know I'm good for making up words. <laughs> See the extra that we're adding to this, you know? Why not? But mine is the glitter and while I'm sitting here doing the most, don't mind me. This is just me doing the most per usual. But I feel like this combination of the eyeshadow tutorial that we just did is good for whatever color combination you wanna do, you know? If you're still in soft glam, you could have used like Sienna and Rose Pink. You know, or if you wanted a little bit darker, you could have used mulberry and sultry. If you're a lighter skin complexion, you could have used burnt orange and fairy or dusty rose and fairy. I feel like it's just a perfect, like easy eyeshadow look that you can do a lot of different color combinations with and it's easy to match whatever look that you're going for. That way we ain't worried about the cut creases or the fake cut creases or blended cut creases or, you know, any other kind of blending situations that we might not be good at. I feel like this eyeshadow technique is a lot easier for beginners to make it look good on pretty much anybody. So we are keeping this very beginners today, so I'm not gonna do a wing, but I am gonna take this Morphe liquid liner and just line the top of my lid just to kind of define the space for my lashes to go, and I'm gonna add some drama. And I'm gonna go ahead into my mascara on the top lashes just to prepare them, and this is really just to make them stick to the false lashes underneath, as well as it helps to get rid of like the shimmer that has fallen onto your lashes <laughs> from your eyeshadow application. And that way you don't actually see it underneath your lashes. And I'm gonna pop on these lashes and these are from Tati. And look how much drama we just added to this look just with the lash. Sis, you can't go without your lashes, my love. You can't go without them. I mean, unless you are blessed with lashes, y'all know I ain't got none. So <laughs> any lash. <laughs> for me as the drama. But if you want something softer, there's no glue on this one, but this one is also from Tati. Look at the difference. Super drama, brunch. Night on the town, Sunday morning. <laughs> but we going to night on the town, even though, you know, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> Now we are doing like a basic baddie look today. Something quick, easy, simple for a nice little everyday beat. Now this color combination on the eyes might not be your everyday, sis. That's not the point. The point is that the technique and where we placed it is perfect for everyday. So your color selection is up to you. 
<laughs> I personally went for gold and a brown tone today, which with the lashes kind of reads as, you know, happy hour. <laughs> It's not really about the color, it's more about the technique and how to put it on versus the color. Cause that can match your situation, the time of day and the event. So for primer today, I am gonna go into my Revlon Rose Glow Primer. This is an illuminating primer and this is just my choice for the day. And this one gives you a slight, y'all look at my hair being unruly. <laughs> Girl, get on back up there. Go ahead. This is an illuminating primer, but it's not as illuminating as some of the other ones I've used. I have the Laura Mercier illuminating one, and I literally look like liquid gold <laughs> before I put on foundation. The e.l.f. one is like liquid gold too. This one, you know, you can see the illumination, but it's still kind of, kind of chilling, you know? <laughs> For foundation today, I'm gonna go into my Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation. This is in the number eight. When I put on my foundation, y'all know, I like to put it on the back of my hand, take my finger, and evenly distribute it throughout my face. And for those of you who are not used to me, <laughs> my guess it looks light. However, my face is darker than my chest. I like to match my chest, which I believe everyone should do, depending on what shade is going on right here. Especially if you about to wear this out, you wanna bring this shade all the way up. If you match your face, my face is still gonna be darker than down here. We want everything to be the same. So before you come for me and say, hey sis, what the heck? <laughs> That is the point. And it's not, you know, me making myself lighter. I'm just matching my body color versus my face color. And I feel like that is the best way to match your foundation. Now this was about, I'm gonna say two pumps of this foundation. We don't wanna use too, too much today. I am gonna buff this out with my e.l.f. blending brush. And this is one of my most favorite brushes for buffing out my foundation. And I like to go like in circular motions. <laughs> I like to just go in like circular motions as I blend and I blend it down into my neck a little bit. On my forehead, I usually will just stipple it a little bit and not go in too crazy. I'm gonna go into my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And the shade that I use to highlight is Honey. And I'm gonna do my basic areas, but I'm not going in too much. So this doe foot applicator is perfect in this particular one, especially for beginners, because I feel like it gives you the exact amount that you need without going too ham and dipping back in like a little line like that and then just bring it down like as a triangle, I feel like will be perfect because you kind of see how it kind of tapers it off towards the bottom. I feel like that's perfect when you're going for a beginner face. Then we want to get our Cupid's bow. <laughs> Got it. In the middle of the chin, as well as down the nose, if you are a nose contour, and I am, and a little bit on our forehead. And that is pretty much all we need. I am going to let this sit for a minute here because I do believe that it gives you more coverage when you let it sit maybe for like one to two minutes on the face because it'll just help it to blend out better and give you more full coverage without having to pile on more product. And I'm gonna go in a little bit with a contour and I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in. 65 coffee. So I'm gonna do a couple of dots here, a couple of dots to frame the face, and I'm just gonna leave it like that. And we gonna chill for a minute. <laughs> All right, I think we're dry down enough. Um, the first thing I'm gonna blend out is my contour. So I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush, go in circular motions, and just blend it out. Not too much, just a little bit of deeper shade right there is all we need. And I'm gonna take my Thrive Cosmetic Sponge and blend out the rest of the concealer. So look, I don't know if you see what just happened. With us drying this down, we almost look set, low key, underneath the eye. I don't know if y'all just saw that. <laughs> but had we done this, and I, I really wish I would've done one wet and then dry one down, but I guess that's kinda hard to do. No. Regardless, we almost look set under the eyes with drying it down and I feel like that is a great beginner tip because it'll help with your coverage and then you don't have to keep going on top with more product and dot 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 sis, ain't nobody got time for that. That And I learned that when I did my Jackie Ina <laughs> video. I was like, sis got a point. That makes multiple points actually. And I kind of messed up my brows a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with the spoolie on the pencil and then take my finger and dab it. I literally need to start letting this dry down every time. <laughs> 
Because sometimes I forget because it's not part of my normal routine. And then some days I'm just like, I just ain't got no time <laughs> to be sitting and waiting. But you know, so that is a game changer. Now if you guys can see, we have created a natural contour of the nose. So there's no need to go in with nose contouring. And for once, in my life, I'm not going to go in with a cream contour for the nose. We gonna keep it like this. And when I say naturally contoured, I mean <laughs> that the foundation color next to the lighter concealer color has already created the nose contour by blending in the under eye and kind of leaving that line down the nose, which isn't necessarily natural, but you know what I mean, sis? I mean, without actually going in with a darker color. <laughs> So now we're going to set. I am going to set with the most matte <laughs> powder on earth. And that is the Fenty powder. And this one is their banana powder. I usually will mix this with honey, which is what I'm gonna do. I feel like I would not have to do that if I had cashew. So I feel like that would be like the perfect shade for me, but I don't have cashew. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I love this sponge because it does have a pointed tip and a flat side right here. First, I made sure my creases were gone, sis. We already know we need to do that all the time. And I'm gonna dip into this powder. Definitely make sure you pat this on your hand, cause sis, you'll be looking real cakey. <laughs> so for my beginners, you might not wanna go for Fenty, but anyway, you might go with some a little, a little less matte, but I'm gonna go ahead and press this into my highlighted area to set the under eye. And I'll say it once, I'll say it again. I love how this stuff smells. Some people hate it, but. I love it. And Fenty, I really do press into the skin, y'all, because the powder is crazy matte. So you have an oil problem, sis. This is the one. <laughs> I'm not squeezing this to go straight down the nose. That way we keep our nose contour. And then I'm taking a brush to set the lighter area of my forehead area. And I'm also dusting it underneath our contour area as well with the brush. Now on a big fluffy brush, I'm gonna take that powder and just set the whole face. So I'm not concentrating it, I'm not making it like, you know, lighter. I just kind of want to add powder over the whole face to set it in place so that it's not moving and it's not shiny. So quickly, I'm gonna go ahead into my bronzer. And the bronzer I'm using today is the LMR Cosmetics Bronzer. And this is their Dark Rich Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. I'm going into this middle color, which is called Cinnamon Sugar. And I'm gonna start to bronze the face. And in this case, we're kind of just adding that more more red tone to the skin, adding color back in, make sure we are still looking nice and sun-kissed, especially for summer, my love. Cause the thing about makeup is you always wanna make sure that your face is multi-dimensional. We never wanna look like we're all one shade or like our lighter shade is taking over. So that's why it's so important to go in with a bronzer. If, even if you're, if you're contouring, then sure, that too. But I feel like a bronzer is just perfect for just adding that more sun-kissed look and that more naturally bronzed skin you know look versus just like you got a lot of light shades on your face and that's just natural color you know <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense but i feel like bronzer is like a must and i'm reinforcing my nose with this with this bronzer as well unnecessary but <laughs> that's what I do. So for the lower lash line, I'm actually going to use my Anastasia brush. These come in all the Anastasia palettes, so I'm sure a lot of y'all got it. So I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna dip back into Rustic. And just on the tip of this, I'm going to line our bottom lash line. So we're not being super precise with this. We're just kind of just sweeping that shade on the bottom lash line. And I know a lot of you guys are actually trying to get into using a nude liner on the bottom lash line because it just opens up the eye that black eyeliner will close your eyes so fast sis. please you don't know what happened the one I've been using I never say the actual name of this this is the magic pencil by Nabla and you can purchase their products on their website and this one is in the shade dark nude so I'm just putting this in my lower waterline and using a nude one versus a white one is so much better for women of color obviously because white is just way too stark more lighter complexion or Caucasian women or you know women who don't have a lot of melanin in their skin can get away with using more white but honestly I would recommend nude for your body because <laughs> I feel like it's a lot softer it's a lot less stark you know not like white <laughs> and if you guys ever notice notice this when you watch movies look at women in movies 
They never have on black eyeliner. Never. Look at them. Most of them have on white eyeliner under their eyes. I feel like nobody notices this, but the reason that they do that is to make the eyes more open when they are filming because when you're looking from a distance, you can see that the eyes just look more open, more feminine, more soft when you use a lighter liner underneath. I mean, you see, like it's not too stark, but it does still keep the eye open. I know I have mascara here, Maya, so just chill. It's here somewhere, it's here somewhere. I know I'm looking at it. I just don't, I just don't see it. I feel like this is a common problem. There she is. I'm gonna just line my bottom lash lines with a light set of mascara. And this is the Buxom mascara. I like this one in particular because it does really single out those lashes and doesn't clump them up. And we are almost done. Who wants to see me put on some blush? Y'all wanna see me put on some blush? <laughs> Let's put on some blush today. So I'm not sure if I wanna go in with like more of a peachy blush or more of a pink blush. What y'all think? Now here's one tip though. For beginners, um, African American or African or women of color, <laughs> always have you a good peach blush in your makeup stash. Because I just feel like peach blushes are like, oh, so beautiful on a darker skin complexions. I am totally, totally here for it. I am gonna go ahead and dip into the peach one. And this is the Color Rain by Power Collection. This is in Call the Shots. I'm gonna dip into this peach blush. Okay, do you see just the, hint that it added it's not too much it's not red or pink and when you're adding blush you want to put it on the apples of your cheeks so smile a little bit <laughs> make sure it's right there and you can also bring it up a little bit to kind of like help with your highlighter once you add that and something diffusing i use this diffusing brush and this one i believe is a moda brush and i add just a bit around the face just to like keep the same tones happening but not like so concentrated like on the cheeks <laughs> For highlighter today, I'm gonna go into my Ofra Sahara Dawn highlighter. And this is a very pretty gold highlight and I'm using this big fluffy eyeshadow brush. Then I'm taking a more detailed brush to put it on my nose and in the inner corners of my eyes. So I am gonna use a lip combination from the Juvia's Place collection that we reviewed last week. I'm gonna go into the lip liner, which is in Cola, which I believe is like one of the most perfect brown lip shades for lip liners because it is like not too dark and it's also not too light of a brown. So to me, it's just like perfect. <laughs> and I'm loving how this is looking. So I kinda wanna go in with like a nude, like a nude nude. Should we gloss it up today though? That's too pink. This is the barely there gloss. I don't think I want to do that one. And that's going to be too dark. So I'm trying not to do the same thing that I did last week, <laughs> which was this liner and muted. And I feel like that's my favorite combination with this. Let's see how Lady looks. And this is one of the chocolate colors as well. Okay, let's do Lady. It's slightly different from what we did last week. <laughs> Has a little more brown to it, less like taupey brown. <laughs> very cute all right babe so that is our finished look let's go ahead and wrap this video up i hope that the eyeshadow tutorial was very easy and simple for you guys as that is what inspired this video and also y'all know we got to do the full face give a little beginners tips or tips in general so i hope you guys liked it if you did please make sure that you give me a big thumbs up comment below and let me know what you thought also make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet and i will see you babes next time bye